The following program is brought to you by Hollywood Connection Center, a network for entertainment industry professionals. Jade Taylor, take one. What are you in and what do you do? Hi, I'm Jade Taylor and I'm an actress, filmmaker, singer, producer, all of the above. <laughs> And dancer. Uh, what inspired me to do to be in the entertainment industry? Well, um, I was inspired by many things. My mom was actually in the entertainment industry when I was before I was born. So um, in the '70s, she was an actress on and an, an ice skater on the show Donnie and Marie, the variety show. And um, she played Donnie's love interest. And she was also in some other films, a film um, around Carrie era, another horror film. She got killed by a snake. It was called Jennifer. Just check it out. Um, <laughs> and um, so it was always something that was encouraged in my childhood. And um, I was very boisterous. I actually had an agent at one years old, William Morris. Um, I didn't end up pursuing it because um, it just, my, my dad didn't, wasn't as <laughs> excited about the idea, but my mom was always very, um, very passionate and very enthusiastic and um, really supportive of me pursuing it. And I was in dance and gym from the time I was four years old. I was singing by the time I was seven. I was in acting class when I was 10, so I've been doing it for a little while. Um, and then um, in school, I got into musical theater, and I just fell in love with acting in every aspect. And I just, um, I had just always known that this was my path. And um, I knew that that was the thing I was going to do for the rest of my life. So my most recent work is uh, work on the magicians. Um, it is a show that was adapted by a three book series um, by a gentleman named Love Grossman, and um, it is on the Sci-Fi Channel. So you got to watch it. My character's name is Katie, Katie Orloff Diaz, and she's a badass. <laughs> Allowed to say that. Um, <laughs> and, and it's been it's been such a gift to play her because it's. Um, in some ways we're very similar, in some ways we're very, very different. And so it's, uh, it's been a challenge in the best way. And, um, and I never know what I'm going to get. Every script is different. And because my character was actually the only character that wasn't really in the books. And so um, a lot of other actors got to really read off of the books and see um, where their character's progression was going. And with me, it was just always fresh and new. And so that was really exciting this past season. The upcoming projects I have, well, the Magicians, we're about to shoot um, our season two in June. And, um, and also I have a, a movie film called Higher Power that's going to be coming out in the summer as well, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Lorenzo de Bonaventura produced that. Director was Matthew Santoro. And um, besides that, I've been producing my own projects, which I'm really excited about and um, creating as well. Uh, I directed a film called But I Love Him, which is about intimate and domestic partner violence. And um, that was just in a festival in Sarasota a couple weeks ago. And um, so wanting to expand upon that, I also have another project that I am producing, which is actually a docu-series. It's called Tribe, T-R-Y-B-E, and it stands for Transform, Resurrect Yourself, and Be Empowered. And it's also turned into this sort of movement. And the idea behind that is I had this friend that approached me, he's a tattoo artist, and um, he said he wanted to do something inspirational with his work. And so we brainstormed and we came up with this idea of allowing people to tell their stories of triumph and hardship. Um, for instance, um, ex-gang members that have a gang tattoo that have this thing on them that they can't get removed or have difficulty um, because of that thing. So giving them a cover-up, brand new memory, um, and allowing them to share their stories because I think sharing stories really inspires other people. Um, and then we also have people that, for instance, domestic violence victims that have either um, been battered and have scars or got their spouse's name tattooed on them to allow them to tell their stories of triumph, give them a cover-up um, and, um, and a gift of transformation, so to speak. So that's another project I'm working on right now and a lot. There's a ton, then two scripts I'm working on. So.
Hi guys, this is Jade Taylor from Sci-Fi's The Magicians. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at jade.taylor, that's T-A-I-L-O-R, or on Twitter at Jade Taylor, or my website, www.jadetaylor.com. And make sure you check out The Magicians on Sci-Fi. It's on demand right now and on iTunes, and it'll be coming out next year in January. Also, I have some upcoming films. One is Higher Power. And make sure you check out my documentary series as well, and you can find me on Hollywood Connection Center. Um, my first views of Hollywood when I started, so that was 10 years ago that I was actually starting to work. Um, that was a long time. <laughs> um, um, it was, it's very different. It's very different. Um, 10 years ago, you know, film was really booming. And now things are so accessible on, online and so on and so forth that, that TV is something that is really prevalent. And, um, so I think, you know, fortunately and unfortunately, um, things are more accessible. Yet, because of that, um, a lot of films aren't being made unless they're really, really high budget. And so a lot of those actors are going to television and then the tier of actors is pushed down. So a lot of people are, are losing work because of it. Um, because there's, it's, we're so saturated and there's so many things going on. Um, so I'm interested to see how, where, where it's going to shift next. Yeah. So do's and don'ts for actors that are coming to LA. Um, I would say don'ts, don't come here because you want to be famous, because you're never going to make it. <laughs> because um, people feed that, they can feel that. Um, and you have to really love what you're doing and really be inspired by it. And um, so come here because you love it and because you want to do the work, because it is a lot of work. It's not an overnight success type of industry. It really isn't as much as I would have loved to say that it is. It really took me, you know, eight years to really get to the point that I'm at. And so eight years of really hard work. So be willing to work really hard. Um, do the work as an actor. You also have to really learn skills about how to market yourself because that's something that I wasn't very good at is the business end of things because I actually sort of shied away from um, sort of putting myself out there because I just loved the work so much. So I really had to learn how to get into casting offices, um, put myself out there, learn to get headshots, um, submit myself on different casting websites, all of those things. I think it's just about really um, learning those skills as an actor, as a business person, because you are a business, and really fighting for it, because if you keep going and you keep fighting for it, you're going to get there. Oh gosh, so many. Um, I would say... Oh, goodness. Um, off the top of my head, uh, I'm going to go with Helena Bonham Carter. I just love, I think she's so unique and different and has such a broad spectrum of, of work and, um, and is just so deep and, and, um, and different. I, I love Marion Cotillard. I love her work. Of course, I love Meryl Streep. She does no wrong in my book. <laughs> uh, Kate Blanchett. And there's, there's a lot of women in this industry that I just, I mean, I could go on for, for hours about the, the amazing inspirational women that, I, that I'm inspired by. I would say that one of the most memorable moments for me was working on True Blood. <laughs> it was my first, um, my first TV role, and I got to work with Stephen Moyer, and I remember just having the time of my life on that set. Everybody was so kind and um, and generous and loving, and every time we would call cut, there was so my so many jokes being thrown around. And I remember <laughs> it's gonna sound really funny. I was eaten by Stephen Moyer, in case you don't you guys don't remember out there. Um, and, <laughs> and so we started like spitting blood at each other. It just became like really silly and fun. And I was like, this is what it should be like all the time. And and the work was just it was so truthful and honest and um and I was just like yes this is this is this is it now it was like validation that my work paid off but also um validation that 
that it really was that great every time I was going to be on set. It was going to be that amazing and feel that great and be that inspiring and fun. Hi guys, this is Jade Taylor from Sci-Fi the Magicians. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at jade.taylor, that's T-A-I-L-O-R, or on Twitter at Jade Taylor, or my website, www.jadetaylor.com. And make sure you check out The Magicians on Sci-Fi. It's on demand right now and on iTunes, and it'll be coming out next year in January. Also, I have some upcoming films. One is Higher Power. And make sure you check out my documentary series as well, and you can find me on Hollywood Connection Center.